So many couples say that finances are the biggest stress in their relationship. How did Jayon and I overcome this stress? Stick around and we'll let you know. Easy. <laughs> We have received quite a few emails and have been having the chance to talk with a few couples about finances on how we do it, why we do it or not. We recently watched a new show which is how... Uh, how to get rich. How to get rich. On Netflix. On Netflix, which is a really interesting yeah. one and we are looking at each other and <laughs> stopping and thinking about it. it. And having conversations. And having conversations yeah. about that. It's really fun. We are gonna link, link those items in the description below, mm -hmm. but that's today's topic. Yeah. First of all, we want to share what works for us, right? We are going to give you a little overview of who we are and what we do. And at the end, we have a few questions that we wanted to share with you. And hopefully these questions will help the conversations that you are going to have with your loved one. Yeah. Finances aren't easy, right? I know, I know here in North America, I always grew up with the, my grandparents and my parents saying sex, money and religion. Those are the three topics that you never discuss because nothing good's ever going to come from mm -hmm. those discussions. I tend to disagree now. I think having those open discussions is better than hiding behind no thoughts at all. Mm -hmm. But specifically regarding your finances, I think that a lot of us here grew up not really understanding money mm -hmm. and never talking about money. So it becomes a very difficult topic of conversation, especially once you're in a relationship. Yeah. A little bit about ourselves. So we have been together for... Let's see if he gets okay. this Oh my right. God, five <laughs> years. Yes. Yeah, just over five years. And when we were dating and going out, and I want to show up and see, you know, that I was a nice guy and always paid everything. But at the same time, you kind of want to see how your partner or the person that you are thinking to live your life with, mm -hmm. they do react. Until to the point where I knew, yeah, Christine is the one. I really want to see, you know, what else we can do it together. I would just like to clarify, he didn't pay all the time. No, I no, to no, pay. no. <laughs> My friends and guys out there always pay. At least the first date. At least on the first date. No matter what, even if it is for a coffee, you pay. Uh, it's and all you girls, make sure you offer. And if it's really not a good date, make sure you pay. <laughs> <laughs> but this one was a good date, Jayon paid. There we go. So here's what happens. We said, you know what, Christine is going to be the one. Until one day I came up to Christine's place and we decided to talk about money. Yeah. And I think that's a really big thing, right? You've decided that this is the person that you want to spend your life with. You've decided you love them. You both like puppy dogs and long walks on the beach and all this great stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but in order to have that life together, money needs to fuel it. And yeah. money is next to love, probably going to be the biggest component of your relationship and how it goes. Yeah. Not whether you have a lot of money, but how you deal with the money and talk about the money and share it and whatnot, mm -hmm. right? Yes, we've had that conversation. It was not easy, but necessary. But for me. <laughs> uh, but it is maybe the way that we see finances mm -hmm. and the way that we see our relationship, it might differ from the way that you see, which is totally fine. Mm -hmm. But... We truly believe that finance is one of the topics that you have to think about it, that you have to talk about it, because you might have a wonderful and beautiful wedding and everything, and a few years throughout your marriage, and you realize, oh, we don't talk about that, we might have a problem, because... Yeah. Maybe one person's a really bad, not a bad, but a big spender, or they spend uh, everything uh -huh. that they get, nothing gets saved, the other person's a saver... And then that animosity starts mm -hmm. to, to leak into your relationship, right? If you don't yes. set up who you are at the beginning of your relationship so that the other person knows what to mm -hmm. expect and you go into that relationship with your eyes mm -hmm. wide open so there's no surprises. Yes. 
The way that I say, you know, fin personal finances, personally, yeah. we are not financial advisors, nor we are any counselors at all. <laughs> Please, we are just a couple who lives in Toronto, ah. who met a few years ago and who had that conversation. Yeah. Hopefully, you can feel like, or you can see how we did it, which might and hopefully is going to help your financial, mm -hmm. you know, in your relationship as well, right? Even if it's not finance related, you are not into fight or whatever the case is. But yeah. finance is an important topic that needs to be discussed. Yeah. Right? So what happens to us? I'm looking at my notes on okay. what worked for us. The first yeah. one is we're gonna say make faith and the four T's. T, yes, for T number one. For T number one. We just T as in talk. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead. T as in talk, yeah. So we just <laughs> We just talked about it. Yeah. Um, it's it's having those conversations. It's sitting down and saying, here is the financial me, right? So opening up those bank accounts and those financial statements and really kind of saying, here's what here's what I am mm -hmm. financially. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's a hard one, right? Because like I mentioned before, at least I didn't grow up learning a lot about money. So for me, I had mismanaged, I wouldn't say mismanaged horribly, but some questionable yeah. spending, mm -hmm. right? I did have the house and whatnot that I was very proud of owning and what coming into this relationship with, but I also came into the relationship with a significant amount of debt. And that's a hard thing to sit down and tell mm -hmm. a person that you love and that you want to start a life with that here's what I got. <laughs> And then when that person turns around and says, oh, <laughs> I but, don't have that. Yeah, but at the same time, you know, some, at least even on the show, most people see as a failure, yeah. which some sort, yes, that's the case. But it goes back to how we were raised and mm -hmm. the things that you are not used to when you grow up, right? So, yeah, that's something that I have to talk about in the water. It's really, really important coming from a 50-year-old man is... On how you talk, on how you yeah. say, on how you receive it. This yeah. is important. If not you, your better half. So the understand that, mm -hmm. you know, things like this happen. And even today, don't get us wrong. Oh, yeah. We still have a few bumps along the way on how we talk, on how you communicate. But we are open. We understand each other. Because at the end of the day is... Love? Love. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. And teamwork. Oh, teamwork, yes. Yeah. That was Jan's yeah. nemesis word at the beginning of our yeah. relationship. Exactly. So, <laughs> communication, talk, it's really important. And be open to this. Maybe, and respectful. Yeah, respectful. Yeah, respectful. Right. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, this is the person that you want to live with through the rest of your life. So, it's got to be a communication. It's mm -hmm. got to be something that you both are open and you are making you know, adjustments along the way. Yeah, right? and deciding how you're dealing yeah. with that money in your relationship, yes. right? Second T. T is tracking. Tracking. And so, part of this whole conversation that Jeanne and I had at the very beginning was sitting down going through all of our assets, liabilities, seeing where each person was, and then deciding, okay, so now we have to fix this situation so that it's better for us in the future. And how are we going to do that? Mm -hmm. Well, we need to figure out where the money's going to, in order to be able to save yeah. and cut back and do whatever. Mm -hmm. So tracking became a very important part of our um, financial conversations. And those conversations happened frequently in the first year. Yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah. Tracking, as simple as that. If you want to use the budget that you use, share in the comments the below. The tracker that the we use, because it's yeah. not a budget. <laughs> the tracker, there you go. Uh, Great difference. Uh, share in the comments yeah. below. We are more than happy to share with you. And if you go to our website, which is farigo.com, there is a resources page that we created with a few of those spreadsheets that you can use it for yeah. free. Yeah. Number th three. Number, <laughs> number three is... The third T is together. So together we took on these challenges. Jeanne didn't leave it up to me to deal with my debt. Now we were a team. This is something that we wanted to like progress with in our yeah. life. We wanted mm -hmm. to stay together. So as a team, we started to tackle the debt. Um, so together we started to pay it down as mm -hmm. aggressively as possible. 
And it worked out. First yeah. year, we were able yeah. to pay off that $60,000 yeah. in debt. $60,000 in debt. Mm -hmm. It's just to be in a better position, yeah. right? So there we go. And number four, time. It takes time. And even though we have been together for over five years, <laughs> we are still making adjustments as we go. I'm going to give you a good example about that. I always stressed out at the end of the month once we had our talk about, you know, what have you been spending or not throughout the month. And we had, you know, usually over wine and it will make things <laughs> easy, right? Dulled the pain, guys. <laughs> no matter what, I was still a little bit stressed at the end because I thought we have been spending quite a lot and, you know, it's not working. I was, you know, what? Stressed. Stressed, yeah. <laughs> You know what we have done and thanks, Sarah, and thanks to you guys. Sarah, I do remember when she said, why don't you do it daily, right? Yeah. Whatever you go, whatever you spend, go open your tracker, your budget, whatever you call it, and track those numbers. It took a while yeah. for us to, to kind of get used to it, but nowadays that's what we have been doing. And every single day, once we go out and we spend something, we open the tracker, enter the numbers, and that's it. Yeah, so you take that time to make sure yeah. that we're focusing yeah. on our finances every day. Mm -hmm. At the end of the month, first of all, I'm not stressed anymore. <laughs> not true, guys. Uh, He's still stressed. I am a little bit <laughs> still stressed, but I see the Especially reason over the why. price of groceries. Yes, I still... <laughs> I understand now because we go out yeah. and come back, you know, here's the grocery list and here's what we spend it or not. And holy crap, you realize that things are expensive. Yes, we are. But being able to track throughout the month, it's helping at least me. And it know. just, it helps us stay on top of that. Yeah. The, the, we haven't set a budget, but it just mm -hmm. keeps us in, in line with our financial goals, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So we're not overspending in a category unknowingly throughout the month. Yes. So those are the four T's. You have to talk, you have to track, you have to do it together and it takes time. Yeah. And then you rinse and repeat. We do this. We mm -hmm. talk about finances probably on a daily basis. Not probably, on a daily, on a daily basis. basis. And yeah. it's not like it's a time, like we sit down and we open our bottle of wine and we go over our finances. No, no. it's like Jean said, we take the time to track whatever we might've spent that day he does a quick calculation with his fancy dancy spreadsheet and it just kind of keeps us in line. We'll talk about our investments, uh -huh. if there's something we want to purchase, but we, we make sure that we do this every day and if not every day, every couple of days, mm -hmm. because this isn't a one-time conversation. Yeah. This is every day I tell Jayan that I love him multiple times a day. It's as important as telling the person that you love them by figuring out how you're going to fund your life together financially, yes. that's another yeah. form of showing your love. So as long as you two can communicate and stay on track together, mm -hmm. you know, we're finding that it's working for us. Yes, we be, and it goes back to, you know, your your situation or not, but we have one pot. Even though we are still working, you know, having mm -hmm. joint accounts, we do have joint accounts in the U.S., but it's another topic, maybe a credit card reason for that <laughs> but within canada we don't have joint accounts no. yet we are still working to do it it's on our list and we know that we're gonna do but at the end of the day there is no blaming if she does wanna you know spend money whatever she yeah. does she go and, and, and do it right and the same case with me mm -hmm. uh, there's no blaming of course there is an understanding and say you know what is the main reason why what mm -hmm. is your the goal that you yeah. guys you know as a couple have right yeah and i think like if it's fifty to a hundred dollars, then doesn't it doesn't really get talked about. No. But anything a little bit more than that, just because of our tight yeah. timeline and our future goals that we want to reach, we'll sit down and we'll have those yeah. conversations. Like uh, Jean needed a new mm -hmm. phone. Okay, well let's sit down and talk about it. How can we get this? Is there a way to go about getting yeah. it that's beneficial to us or uh -huh. whatever? But those bigger purchases, we don't just go out and do. We sit down. We have a conversation. Yes. So. As simple as that. We know it's not easy. We know it takes time and it's like a work in progress. Mm -hmm. But those are the things that we have been doing. It have been, you know, it has been working for us yeah. ever since. And the more you do it, the easier yeah. it is. Yeah. It just yeah. becomes second nature. Uh -huh. So, 100%. And less stressful. 
if you have not watched the show, go and watch it because it's really fun and you're gonna see the understanding of at the beginning when he was interviewing yeah. you know, like some couples and what happened later on. Yeah. Which is quite similar to yes. maybe to not that extent that we have seen, you know, but mm -hmm. it yeah. is. And the guy's name is Ramit Sethi, right? Yes. There is also a really good audiobook or book. book that you can also get. So it's more towards, you know, our friends in the US because it talks about 401k and Roth IRAs and everything. Yeah. But still the principles, the are, principles in are in general yeah. are there for everybody. Yes. If you stick up to this point and thank you for very much for coming and letting us be part of your journey, there are a few things that we think that might be helpful if you want to have that conversation with your partner. Mm -hmm. Not if, when. Or it when, needs because to it, it needs to happen. Uh, I'm sorry, but that's the reality. <laughs> yeah. You gotta go and you gotta face it because yeah. if not, Problems when you are. Right. You're gonna see problems down the road, you know, bookmark that and click on the like button if you agree with us or not. The first one is... The five questions are... Yep. Yeah. Five questions first one? that we wanted to put out there for you guys to use in this conversation. Mm -hmm. Number one is, what are your assets, your liabilities, your salary, and your credit score? Maybe you don't know all of these numbers, <laughs> but start bringing to the conversation. You know, you know what are your assets. You know that. I knew that Christine had a house, which is, of course, the one that we live today. I had a car. She had a car. So things like this, we start incorporating into your discussions. You end up yeah. understanding more about. And nothing's know. hiding. There's not going to no. be any little skeletons in the closet no. two uh -huh. years down the road. This hidden credit card that never yeah. got spoken about, right? Everything's out on the table. You're upfront. You're honest. That's what every good relationship she yes. has built on. So. Second one, how would you want to spend money as a couple? Yeah, you have to decide on these goals and aspirations for your life together. Do you want to buy a house? Do you need a new car? Are you planning on having children, paying for their education? And what about your retirement? These yes. are all really big questions and things that you need to start asking each other early mm -hmm. in your relationship mm -hmm. so you can start planning for them. Yes. Great. Third one, how do you want to manage money as a couple? Is it like a separate account? Is it a joint account? Are you going to split your you know, your incomes yeah. in percentages if one couple makes more than the other? So it's more it's of a fair, fair basis. Yeah. Uh -huh. So these are ways of, of just starting that communication, mm -hmm. right? Because everybody's going to have a different way of doing it that's really going to work well for them. Certainly yeah. the way we manage our money and how we split up our bills and expenses isn't going to be the same as a lot Major. of other people, right? Yeah. It's going to depend on what works for you. It's about the partnership. Yeah. And we sort of covered the other one is how, um, what is your money milestones, right? Do you have big expenses that you mm -hmm. want to start tra planning for? Are you planning on big trips, traveling? Do yeah. you want to start a travel fund? Do you want to start education funds for your children down the road? Mm -hmm house funds, stuff like that, and especially retirement. Make sure you guys yeah. start looking after yourselves early. Yeah, don't rely on government. If it comes, it's the- It's a bonus. The, it's a bonus, but don't rely. You gotta be, mm -hmm. you know, in Proactive. charge of your money, right? Last but not least. Is how often do you plan to sit down and talk with your partner about your finances? Make it, we made it in the early days, we made it usually a monthly, if not a bi-weekly conversation. It's not as, well, I mean, now it's daily, but the, the main check-in is still usually a monthly, end of month check-in. How did we do? Yeah. Where can we save? Can we put more money somewhere towards investments? Yeah. That's it. Not easy conversations no. at all to start. We're not even trying to tell you that this is an easy topic to start talking about. No. But trust us, once you get moving, it does become yes. easy. And mm -hmm. in fact, for us, is one of our biggest... We enjoy those conversations. We, we do. But I think eventually you're going to realize mm -hmm. that a lot of your goals match up. Mm -hmm. And as long as your goals match up, I think you'll, you're going to succeed down the road. Even if you mm -hmm. have different money, money management styles, mm -hmm. if you have common goals, you're both going to work together towards those goals. A hundred percent. Yeah. So that's this week's video. Slightly different, no real numbers, but no. we just wanted to kind of give you guys yeah. a little bit of insight as to how we started our money conversations mm -hmm. and sort of how we continue that today. Yes. 
Share in the comments below. Have you talked? How often do you talk with your partner or somebody, your best friend, or you, do you keep it to yourself? If you need to talk with somebody, if you want to talk yeah. to us, reach out. We're reach here. out. We are here. No financial advice, yeah. no counseling or anything, but just sharing our journey to financial independence. And hopefully you'll be able to have these conversations. And fingers crossed, we already had it and move along. <laughs> That's it for this week, guys. Have a great week. Thank you. And I'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Let's see if it's still recording. <laughs> <laughs> we never you? know. We never know. Yeah. Okay. Where's your water? A lot of talking today. Get the beer after. Mm -hmm. For Sao Paulo. Come join me, Smart. I don't know, your shirt's all twisted. Do you like that? Yeah, that's okay. Maybe on this side, right? What was the name of the guy? Remy what? Se Ramit Sahib. Ramit, I think. Yeah, and what is the name of the show? How to Get Rich. How to Get Rich? Yeah. Yes. I'll teach you to be rich. That's his book. <laughs> yeah.